If you don't want to include Igbos in the governance, then let the Igbos be apart. Professor Charles Mwakeako to the Nigerian government. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Challenge TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Secretary General of the Igbo Elders Consultative Forum, Professor Charles Mwakeako, has noted that the Igbo should be allowed to be a separate entity. If those in government does not want to include the Igbos in the governance of the country. Speaking further, Professor Wakiako made it known that the Igbos are being marginalized when it comes to appointments and allocation of federal projects, noting that these are the reasons why Igbo youths are agitating for self-determination. The Edda statesman made this disclosure when he was being interviewed on a rise television as he was reacting to the yesterday's Supreme Court judgment that nullified appeal court judgment that discharged and acquitted the IPOB leader Mazin Namdi Kano. Professor Nwakiako Nwa said, Look, if you don't want to include the Igbos in the governance of the country, let them stay apart. He said. Furthermore, he made it known that the federal government does not have any business to keep the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop, Mazinam the Kanu detained because Nigeria is a, a signatory to a number of treaties. To a yeah, number of treaties. He went on and made it known that the con the content Nigeria's detention of Namdi Kano is a breach on his fundamental human right. In addition, Wakiako noted that the IPOB leader has not violated any law, noting that Namdi Kano has not been found to be violent. He went further and made it known that Kano is only a freedom fighter who believes that his people are being marginalized. These have generated a lot of reactions. Just a simple truth. The man Kano is a freedom fighter with voiceless, with violence free, demanding for the right of his people that has been marginalized for years because of one reason. They should release Namdi Kano as far as I am concerned. He has no reason to be incarcerated in the past. We have witnessed how two fighter jets were shot down in a particular region and nothing happened to any of the leaders. No one was arrested. Let's treat ourselves equally so we can live together continuously, please. Whether they like it or not, we shall exist Nigeria by force or by fire. What is the gain? Okay? Such an aberration of all sorts. The day is drawing very close. For some of the elders, I pray their eyes will be open wider to see clearly. I pity elders of the, the former southeastern region who, who claim to know and failed to unify their people for a common goal. If a man lost his identity in a place called his home, he can never get to his destination. Seemly, with the way things have been playing out in ne Nigeria land, the labor of elders, the heroes passed from the region who struggled for the emancipation and unification is in vain. Hmm. Someone said here, yeah, Still learning to be a real Nigerian. So let them go soon. Let's let them leave. Just allow Igbo people to go. Truths are always bitter to those marginalized, the chosen generation. What my people went want urgently his referendum to decide our stand, whether to continue with the Nigeria or not. May God have mercy on us. First, release our leader, 
Mazinam the Kano for God's sake. Igbos don't have much problems. The only problem bedeviling the Igbos race is the hoodlum in Imo state. Once this problem is solved, half of Nigeria's problem is solved already. What happened yesterday was executive recklessness in case of Mazinam the Kano. How can the AGF interfere with the judiciary process by ordering retrial of a case a court has settled? Now, the hand-picked Supreme Court judges have done the bidding of their master. However, the continued detention of Mazen and the Kano is making him more popular. If our present uh, world has conscience, but I doubt. God, please help the Igbos. No federal allocation for Igbos. No federal appointment, even on Wayek, Ainek, uh, Wayek, Neko, and Jump. Other tribes cause 200 in medicine. They will admit them. But if in if is Igbo man scored 300, he will not be admitted. God is watching. You cannot cover the sun with pan. Okay. Nigerians, what's your take on this? It seems that this issue of Mazin and the Kano and the federal government of Nigeria is not ending soon. Let's hear from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.